What if I told you this ESP32 can become a smart home device, controlled directly from a web browser? Smart homes are about control. But until now, your browser wasn't part of that system. Opera GX introduces smart home integration, built on the open MQTT protocol. This allows the browser itself to act as a smart device on your local network. Here, Opera GX exposes its accent color as a sensor. When this color changes, it sends real-time MQTT messages. In my setup, this directly controls an ESP32 and an RGB LED strip instantly. When I change the accent color in Opera GX, the browser sends a command over MQTT to my Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi then forwards it to an ESP32, and the LED strip instantly changes color to match. Opera GX also gives you built-in control tools, designed to keep your browsing fast, clean, and private. The built-in ad blocker removes intrusive ads and trackers, so you can stay focused without distractions. And with the free VPN, you get an extra layer of privacy directly inside the browser. No extensions, no extra software, just one click. Switching to Opera GX is also easy. With the quick import tool, you can bring your bookmarks, history, and settings from your previous browser in just a few clicks. Download Opera GX for free. The link is in the description below. First, I'm using an ESP32 as the main controller for the LED strip. To protect the data line, I add a resistor between 220 and 470 ohms. I solder this resistor directly to pin 13 on the ESP32. Next, I prepare a three-wire RGB LED strip, ground, power, and data. The resistor is soldered in line with the data wire. The ground wire of the LED strip is connected to the ESP32 ground. The positive power wire is connected to an external power supply. In my case, the LED strip operates at 24 volts, so it must be powered separately from the ESP32. Once the wiring is complete, I connect the ESP32 to my computer using a USB cable. This allows me to upload the custom firmware that controls the LED strip. I'm using the Arduino IDE to upload the code. First, I select the correct ESP32 board and the right COM port. Then I open the firmware sketch. In the code, the most important settings are the LED data pin and the number of LEDs on the strip. I set the data pin to GPIO 13 and I set the LED count to match my strip. This firmware uses the NeoPixel library to drive the addressable RGB strip. When the ESP32 boots, it prints ready in the serial monitor. This is important because it confirms the board is running and the serial link is working. Now the command system is very simple. The firmware listens for text commands over serial, one command per line. For example, RED sets the whole strip to red, blue sets it to blue, and off turns everything off. Now let's connect the ESP32 to the Raspberry Pi. The connection between them is very straightforward. I simply connect the ESP32 to the Raspberry Pi using a standard USB cable. Through this USB connection, the ESP32 appears on the Raspberry Pi as a serial device. This allows the Raspberry Pi to communicate with the ESP32 without any additional hardware or wiring. On the Raspberry Pi, I identify the correct serial port assigned to the ESP32. Once detected, I open the serial connection using the same baud rate defined in the ESP32 firmware. When the connection is successful, the ESP32 sends a ready message. This confirms that the firmware is running correctly and that the serial link is stable. From this point on, the Raspberry Pi can send simple text commands to the ESP32 over USB. The ESP32 listens for these commands in real time and immediately updates the LED strip based on the received instruction. This USB serial connection acts as a reliable bridge between the software layer on the Raspberry Pi and the hardware controlled by the ESP32. Now let's take a look at the software running on the Raspberry Pi. This Python script acts as a bridge between MQTT and the ESP32. First, the script connects to the local MQTT broker running on the Raspberry Pi. It subscribes to a specific topic that will receive commands coming from Opera GX. At the same time, the script opens a serial connection to the ESP32 using the USB port. This allows the Raspberry Pi to forward commands directly to the hardware. When a new MQTT message arrives, the script reads the payload, 
processes it, and sends it over serial to the ESP32. The ESP32 receives the command instantly and updates the LED strip in real time. This approach keeps the system modular and flexible. The browser communicates using MQTT, the Raspberry Pi handles the logic, and the ESP32 focuses only on hardware control. Now let's configure Opera GX to connect to the system. Inside Opera GX settings, I open the Smart Home section. This is where the browser can act as a smart device and communicate with external systems. Here, I enable the Smart Home integration and set the MQTT connection details. For the host, I use the local IP address of the Raspberry Pi and the default MQTT port, which is 1883. Both the browser and the Raspberry Pi must be connected to the same local network. Once the connection is established, Opera GX starts publishing real-time data over MQTT. One of the most useful values is the accent color of the browser. Every time I change the theme color in Opera GX, a new MQTT message is sent automatically. This is the key link between the browser and the physical world. Opera GX becomes an active part of the system, triggering events that control real hardware. This project shows how Opera GX can become part of a real hardware workflow by combining MQTT, a Raspberry Pi, and an ESP32. The browser directly controls physical devices in real time. All the code, wiring diagrams, and step-by-step -step instructions for this project are available through the link in the description below. If these projects are useful to you, you can support me by buying a cup of coffee through the link below the video in the description box. You can also find all the circuit diagrams through the same link. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.